Now here's a really good one that definitely qualifies under the uh, you can't make this SHIT up. Title, my fiance confessed by having you know out with her ex-boyfriend as his last request before he died of cancer. Told you, can't make this up. Big shout out to Joseph for sending me the story. Says here, his name is Tom, age 34. He passed away a month ago. They had a long-term relationship that lasted for six years. She was the one who ended it with him, and I met her two years later. She probably ended it because he was probably cheating on her, and he wasn't going to be the uh, marriage material type. When I heard of his passing, it, passing, I was shocked as I didn't even know he was sick. And my fiance never mentioned it, though she had a habit of bringing him up every once in a while. After the funeral, I noticed that she became distant and quiet. She refused to even make contact, I, make contact with me. I kept thinking she must be in the midst of heavy grief, but still felt something was not right. Trust your gut, gentlemen. I tried asking her to open up, and she refused and, short of, and sort, of su- sh- sort of shut me out for a while. Yesterday, I came home and found her crying. She refused to let me sit down next to her or comfort her in any way, even refused to let me talk to her. I didn't know what to do other than to wait until she'd calm down. She then told me that she had something to tell me. Gee, honey, what could that be? She started talking about Tom and his illness and who was there and who was there for him, who wasn't, etc. She then told me that she was contacted by him three weeks before his death, asking to see her. She said she felt hesitant, but then went. Of course she did. What she said next shocked me. She said that he told her about her stopping his treatment for a while and how he felt alone and discouraged. He proceeded to ask her if she could spend one night with him as his final wish before he passed on. She said she thought about it a lot and felt conflicted, but eventually agreed. They spent the night together. I know what night it was now and end up having you know what. That's what she said. That's, that, that's her, her story. That's what he requested, his last wish on earth to hook up with her. I'd probably want to have some really nice Chinese food or something before as my last wish. Or, I don't know, travel or, or not hook up with an ex-girlfriend from years ago. She started crying, of course, and swearing that she didn't feel anything that night nor afterwards and swore she did this out of guilt towards him. Now she's feeling ten times more guilty. Oh, okay, then. Well, since it was his final wish and all, then I'll just let that go because he's dead now. F you, honey. We're done. I'm in utter shock. I have no idea how to react or what to say. Um, we're done. Get the F out. She keeps pleading with me to be understanding of the position she was put in and not wanting to dismiss it of his request in his last days. What a load of crap. The situation was reversed, and this guy had an ex-girlfriend that was about to die, and she wanted him to... I'd pleasure her. You think this girl will be understanding? Please. But we know this is all bullshit. I still don't think it's an excuse to do what she did. You think? She said it was about about it wasn't about her how she felt, but about Tom. I still feel like she wronged me and betrayed my trust and damaged the bond we have together. You think? She hasn't stopped begging me to understand and forgive her so we can move past this like I feel like I'm but I feel like I'm not the same afterwards after I found out about what she did, regardless of her intentions and the fact that he's not around anymore. So I told you this goes into the category you can't make this SHIT up. If this guy doesn't break up with her and literally kick her out where his footprint is on her ass, he's out of his damn mind. Because I guarantee you, if she hasn't done it multiple times already, she'll be cheating on him in the future. His final wish, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be shitting me. I'm sure there was way more going on than this. Probably wasn't even his final wish. She probably offered it to him or something like that. But so, guys, as I said, Psalm Gomorrah 2.0, you can't make this S H I T up. And if you allow a cheer to get away with it, whatever the reasons, even if it's just the final wish, they're gonna do it to you. Kick her to the curb.